This really happened. Dusty Emu tweeting out a night I will never forget. Thank you, everyone, for all the tweets, Facebook messages, texts, and calls. Hashtag once in a lifetime. The guy in the background, E, King's AHL affiliate coming out onto the ice, is his son, Jonah Emu. Backing Jonah up, the King's goaltending development coach, and his father, Dusty <laughs> Emu. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And we're thrilled to be able to welcome Dusty to the show. This seems like a dream scenario. What was it like to actually live it? It happened it is so fast. So much was happening. And I was actually on the ice with Zach when he got hurt in L.A. I was doing pregame for the Kings because Billy was in Winnipeg for the alumni game, right? Mm -hmm. So when Zach went down... Right away, my mind just started reeling about what we were going to do as an organization. And so I finished pregame skate, came off, and management had already decided what was going down. And I was to get in a car and drive back and back up my son. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what, was, what was, Dusty, what was the conversation like between you and Jonah when he knew that this was going to take place like this? Well... There, like I said, there's so much going on, and I had a job to do, so I'm talking to everybody in management. And finally, when I sat down, I, all, I thought about it in my head about trying to decline and trying to get them to find someone else. Because I, I didn't want to be a distraction to Jonah's first game in the American Hockey League. And, but then uh, my wife called me right away and said Jonah had already called her and said he was pretty he said, you won't guess he's backing up me. <laughs> my wife didn't even cross her mind, and she said, Dad. And uh, my wife told me that he sounded really pumped about it. So I called Jonah on my way back to Ontario, and I just told him, you know, if you have any problem with this at all, you know, make sure you tell me. And he said, no. He goes, I actually going to shut my phone off after you hang up here and get go take my nap so he seemed pretty calm about it all and listening to his interviews after he actually he, he enjoyed it and thought it actually helped him i want dean kane to play you in the movie about this whole scenario are you comfortable with that <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, think that's a yes he's laughing he seems so, happy yeah, yeah. so good also <laughs> when you and your son were interacting on that special day did he call you dad around the team <laughs> he he always calls me dad. I, what, is he going to call me Dusty? <laughs> well, Mark and Marty <laughs> have told me sometimes or... they called Gordy Gordy, and sometimes they called him dad. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, I guess. No, he always calls me dad. That's awesome. Well, that's a, that's that's the way it should be. Yeah. I think you know, as a father of uh, of three, you want to be called dad. How was it during the game? Because there's breaks during the game, the goalies we see skate over to the bench. What was that discussion like? Because now you're in the middle of competition. Yeah, I actually, on my drive there, I decided as soon as I got there, I was going to do everything I could to make sure that I portrayed business as usual for Jonah and the team as well, because there was so much you know, stuff. The buzz was getting bigger and bigger as it got closer that I didn't want that to be the forefront. And so I just tried to act like, you know, another a player and, and whatnot when we sat down next to each other to dress and stuff. I just really wanted to make sure that I wasn't distracting. And then as we got going, I could tell he was, he was ready to go into the game. You know, then we just started. I just acted like a, a coach slash player to kind of help him through the, you know, the TV timeouts and stuff. That's very kind of you. We noticed he wore 35 and you wore 70. What's the story there? Uh, 30, 35 he's had since the development camp, right? So they just he's been wearing that the whole time. And 70 for me, that just uh, is my number, is my whole pro career. I, I, last year, Simmer, the trainer in Ontario, asked, uh, asked me what number I wanted. They, they made that jersey last year just in case. And uh, I said I didn't care, and he asked me what my number was when I played, so I told him. So that, that was actually my number. All right, as a coach, let me ask you, what's the verdict? How did he play? 
You know what? I don't know if you weren't there. You know, by score, you might think it wasn't as good a game, but he actually played. He played well, and there was a lot of pressure on there. And we, I think, we managed eight shots in the first two periods, so we didn't have our a typical Ontario Rain uh, tight defensive hockey game. And uh, none of the goals. You know, there was a couple screens, a couple tips, and uh, everything he saw, he was actually really good with. And made some huge saves along the way. Kept it tied. Made a couple great saves in OT and then let the last breakaway in in the OT. And, yeah, I couldn't fault him on any of the goals. And to tell you the truth, he looks, he looks fine. Nice. We are so thrilled. Now, what a story. Learned a story. of this story. Thanks so much for joining us, Dusty.